members and yesterday was the start of navratra it was chaitra navratra yesterday and there was a very special video doing the rounds on the internet it was hardik pandya and krunal pandya's family bhajan ahead of mumbai indians's encounter was his royal challengers bengaluru there was a video uploaded by hardik pandya in which he krunal's family and the entire family have assembled for a special bhajan on the occasion of chaitra navratra now the bhajan and everything it was a very soulful rendition of hare rama hare krishna and there was all lot of music there was fanfare there was a lot of happiness there but most of the comments that were there on the video were very very negative and it continues the hate campaign that has been fueled on social media against hardik pandya he's won his first game as mumbai indians captain but somewhere down the line the hatred that is there for hardik pandya still continues to remain i mean just on the basis of a bhajan the way how it was played out how hardik pandya rendered it there is a lot and lot of criticism you just have to look at the comments on the video that have been posted the hatred continues the caste slurs continue some of the people who are commenting on that they really really need to get a life because someone who criticizes the way how a bhajan is played someone who criticizes how he has to do it in his own house not in a public forum that is the really important thing at this point in time we hope that people do grow up we hope people do get a bit of sense because all these kind of things criticizing a player just because he is what he is is a very very poor reflection of what is there so hardik pandya's bhajan the hare ram hare krishna rendition along with krunal pandya the whole family is there having a very good time and somewhere down the line the smiles are back in hardik pandya's face because if you look at it he endured a very torrid time and because of this he now will be wondering that yes he can continue the momentum mumbai indians can now stage a comeback after losing three games so that is a very good way of looking at it so mumbai indians will take on royal challengers bangalore tomorrow and that is going to be an epic epic contest to say the least by the way when you have to look at the punjab kings was a sunrise as hyderabad encounter it was a brilliant encounter what a fight back it was from both teams Sunrisers Hyderabad made a poor start at Mullapur but they were rescued by a brilliant all-round show from Nitish Reddy Nitish Reddy the all-rounder who was bought in for Sunrisers Hyderabad he really really stepped up as an impact player and boy did he have an impact 50 runs a uh, say half century that he hit four fours and five sixes and it is a really really tremendous tr good testament to from 50 for 4 to 182 then with the ball one for 33 and shashank uh, singh and ashutosh sharma the duo who had helped them beat gujarat titans they were once again threatening to do the unthinkable for two consecutive games punjab kings have found a gem and that is why the duo of shashank singh and ashutosh sharma threatened to do the unthinkable jaydev unadkat had 29 runs to defend he defended 27 and somehow sunrisers hyderabad managed to win by two runs now their next encounter is against royal challengers bengaluru at the chinna swami stadium pat cummins reserved the absolute absolute big compliment for nitish reddy he stated that he rescued us with the bat and to have a, a tremendous all round show single handedly he used the term single handedly of his own bat he saved us big big compliments to nitish reddy at this point Now MS Dhoni gave a very big revelation to Rituraj Gaikwad 2 years ago when it came to captaincy. You see Ravindra Jadeja was having a torrid time and because of that MS Dhoni had to take back the captaincy uh, midway through the IPL. Eight games were up he had to take the captaincy back from Ravindra Jadeja. At that time he told Rituraj Gaikwad you'll probably not lead next year you will lead in 2024. That decision that decision was made in 2022 itself that rituraj gaikwad would be the captain in 2024 so that is the far sightedness that ms dhoni has when it comes to chennai super kings at this point in time so it is a big big uh, tribute to dhoni's far sightedness as a leader as a mentor of chennai super kings because most likely we are going to see him play for the very last time in the ipl also this year 
we know that he is nursing a very bad knee injury and because of that maybe he may not be able to play some games so that is why it was a really really big situation that developed so there is a revelation at this point in time that rituraj gaikwad knew 2 years ago that he would lead so there was match simulations there was leadership simulations and that's why now he is continuing the mantle that ms dhoni had set up he's made a much better start than what ravindra jadeja made as captain so that is a tribute to ms dhoni and his far sightedness now as far as the world of other sports is concerned in the candidates chess 2024 there is a big big development Kukesh is now in the joint lead in the candidates along with uh, the Ian Napomniashi now Kukesh defeated Nijat Abbasov in an 87 move thriller and that has ensured that Kukesh is now firmly in the driver seat he's in the joint lead with Ian Napomniashi but Kukesh is going to face Nakamura who himself got back on track with a win against Ali Reza Firoja Now as far as the other Indians have con- are concerned Pragnananda held on for a draw and so did Vidit Gujarati Vidit Gujarati held on for a draw against uh, Fabiano Caruana and that is why the open section when you have to look at it it is truly truly wonderful to see that Gukesh is right on top and it is very very surprising because Gukesh was the last of the Indians to qualify from the candidates via the feed a circuit imagine if he manages to hold his own and does the unthinkable because gukesh was not given uh, the high uh, favorites billing among the indians it was pragnananda and that is why it is quite fitting that gukesh and pragnananda are right up there yes vidit did suffer two consecutive losses but he stopped the bleeding at least with the draw against fabiano caruana and the candidates so it is a wonderful wonderful situation for indian chess that gukesh is in the joint <coughs> sorry that gukesh is in the joint lead with yam nepomniashi but nepomniashi is an absolute beast when it comes to the candidates he is going for a hat trick of candidates wins that's how brilliant he is so let's see how the remainder of the round goes today is round 6 and gukesh faces the ultimate test against hikaru nakamura if he fails against that then he is in danger of losing momentum so we hope that he manages to do well at this point in time as well now when you have to look at other sporting events also the champions league fixtures are there and you have to understand that security has been beefed up in several stadiums across france and germany because there's an isis threat that is going on at this point so there is an isis threat to blow the stadiums there and security has been beefed up you don't want a repeat of what happened between the france and germany uh, friendly that happened about 4 years ago when there was a terrorist attack in paris so paris is gearing up for a big big win at this uh, event because of the olympics so that is the current situation and When you look at other sports today is India versus Australia the third hockey test that will happen India are already trailing 2-0 and because of that he is it is going to be a big uphill task for the India men's hockey team they have to win to ensure they stay alive in the series but if they lose then once again India cannot crack the Australian code when you have to look at it then when you look at the Billie Jean Cup India have made a winning start with Ankita Raina doing very well and also in the world of tennis djokovic and bhupati i mean if you look at it bopanna djokovic and bopanna's interaction is really really said like the video is up on sports today you can check that out as well we are also gearing up for the badminton asia championships which pv sindhu honestly has a huge huge task but by the end of the month the thomas cup is going to be a big big deal here because india are the defending champions and they will be aiming to ensure that they defend it but it is not going to be easy because they are in the same group as indonesia and thailand two very very good teams so it is a brilliant brilliant situation that is today it is gujarat titans versus rajasthan royals it is going to be a big big clash because gujarat titans will be aiming to bounce back after their loss to lucknow super giants but rajasthan royals are on a royal spree at this point unbeaten they'll be going for their fifth consecutive win only unbeaten team in ipl 2024 so far is the rajasthan royals and they do look good on uh, 
in the clash because their bowling attack is simply magnificent at this point. So today it is Gujarat Titans versus Rajasthan Royals 2022 final. You will all remember how heartbreaking it was for the Rajasthan Royals to end a 16 year jinx at this point. Now let me take some questions. There's a lot of questions at this point. Uh, JRK, is it possible to assign orange cap to the one with highest strike rate or average than most runs? See, JRK, in a couple of shows back, we did discuss that matrix. Like, how can you give the orange cap based even on a strike rate bit? But then it could result in a lot of complications. Supposing if one person has played just two gear, two matches, suppose he's played 10, but he's only scored 35 runs, but has an average of 30, and has a strike rate of 190. It does look a bit skewed. The matrix has to calculate a certain uh, if a cutoff for runs, certain cutoff for an average, and then you can take the strike rate into equation. Maybe it can be worked out in the near future. Sri Vatsa Vinjavuru is saying, with all the talk of aggressive batting, I don't want India to end up 20 for 4 while going for aggressive batting. There is no impact rule in T20 World Cup. Well, you are on a prayer in the T20 World Cup, Sri Vatsa Vinjavuru. It's that you... Understand one thing, when you've gone back to certain players, you are risking a certain bit of failure in the power play or in the death overs. We hope that it does not happen in the T20 World Cup. Mayank Vadan, I also miss you yesterday. Best wishes to sports. Day. Loving the shows. Thank you, Mayank. Thank you so much. Uh, but yes, yesterday we had our one rare off and we have to capitalize on that. It's a very, very long IPL and T20 World Cup that you're going to get. So we have to conserve our energies whenever we get the opportunities for uh, sports fans said your thoughts on Gukesh leading the candidates. As I mentioned, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing that Gukesh is leading jointly with Yan Nepamnyashi in the candidates at this point. So I only wish that he can sustain the momentum because in certain occasions you've seen Gukesh lose some momentum. But in the candidates, if he can ensure round six, uh, round five has happened, today's round six, if he can continue with that momentum and at the halfway stage, he's still at the top. He can do it. So let's hope that it happens. How would you define a finisher? Well, JRK, a finisher is one who finishes the game off with less pressure and does it on a consistent basis. You can see that in a Michael Bevan, MS Dhoni in ODIs and IPL, he has done that. MS Dhoni has never done it in a T20I situation. That's very important. Uh, KK, one feedback for ST. Please ensure that post-match review is not too long, around 40 minutes. And also an analysis. Please avoid ifs and buts situation. 10, 10 minutes for each team and analysis. Then comment section and chat section. Well, we KK, feedback noted. We will do that. 10, 10 minutes for each team analysis. If and but situation. But then see, that's where foresight, hindsight, you do have to get that part in also. But then noted from you, KK, you are one of our regular family members. This feedback pinned and noted. 40 minutes, you are saying, maybe a grace period of 5-10 minutes, point noted. Man City versus Real Madrid was crazy last night. Indeed, Mayang Madan, it was. Shrivatsa Vinjavana, due to lack of all-rounders, HP and Jadeja can get away with mediocre performances. No one will criticize HP Jadeja in the same manner as VK and RS. Can't uh, disagree with that. Since so uh, which captain has impressed till now? Till now, if you have to look at it, I would say Sanju Samson has impressed me and so has Pat Cummins. Cummins, if you look at the state where Sunrisers Hyderabad, Hyderabad was last year and now what he's doing, Cummins is truly living up to his reputation as one of the best captains going around. He and Sanju Samson have really done a good job so far. I mean, that is the way I look at it. Rituraj Gaikwad looking at CSK's high standards, he's done far better than what Ravindra Jadeja did in 2022. So these are the three who have really impressed me. The two Indians who have impressed me are uh, Sanju Samson and uh, Rituraj Gaikwad. And among the foreigners, it is Pat Cummins by a country mile. He's really, really done well at this point. Uh, said so SRH approach is very good despite losing Vishrayansh Kudipati. They are continuing the modern T20 approach. Kudos to Cummins and this management. They really want to break the IPL jinx because their sister franchisee in South Africa, the Sunrisers Eastern Cape, have won back to back. Now, Kavya Maran and her SRH management want the Sunrisers Hyderabad team to do well. HP IPL career strike rate is 134. For a man known for poverty, the strike rate tells a different story. Yes, Hardik Pandya seems to be a floater. I mean, he Bats at number four, that strike rate there is kind of acceptable, not acceptable. But then, yeah, Hardik Pandya struggles with the bat. 
are prominent in T20s and in the IPL, not since 2022. He had a very good 2022. Apart from that, he had a very poor couple of IPLs prior to that. So let's see how that happens. With a sports fan, will it miss golden chance to win against Fabi? Yes. I do admit that he stopped the bleeding, but then he had a good tactical advantage, which he blundered. And with it, unfortunately, has blundered on several occasions of the candidates. His time management seems to be a major issue at this point. No way. Gukesh plays may play more tactical than Pragnananda. Pragnananda also would, but he's more famous than Gukesh. Gukesh is India's Western chess, KK. Yeah, all are good. I mean, this current crop of players, you have to understand how magnificent they are. And it's also tribute to the gui guidelines that Vishwanath Anand has laid out. The path that he set out, five-time world champion, only Indian to win the candidates. And all of the current superstars are taking inspiration from Vishyan. You should check out that video that's there on Jazz.com. I mean, it's a wonderful dinner that these four Indian superstars are at. Vidit was missing. I think it was because of logistical reasons. They are at Vishyanan's house and they are having dinner and it's a wonderful interaction that they have got with them just before the candidates. Jay Prakash, you, you need to grow too. If he posts online, you should expect criticism. But why? Jay Prakash, I'll just answer this question. I have the right to call out bad behavior if it is bad behavior. The fans posting it just for the heck of it to get attention, that is that needs to be called out. No way under the freedom of expression you are getting away with toxic behavior. No way. Toxic behavior needs to be called out. And in the case of Hardik Pandya, it must be called out because as I have mentioned, he has done no wrong. And if you post something, why must you criticize when there is nothing left to be criticized in it? Just for the heck of it? If that is the case, I'm sorry. Then you're missing the point entirely. So, Navratri ki shukam na sir, Jai Mata Di. Jai Mata Di to you too. Will both Sanju and Pant be selected for World Cup T20? Ashish Ranjan, I really don't know about that. Because now, Rishabh Pant, there is a big, big push that he should be included. And if that is the case, then it's either Sanju or Jitesh or Rishabh Pant. You'll come to know by April end at this point. So, even though we have Rinku, Srivatsa saying, I am also, I am not confident about the hitting ability of Jadeja and Hardik. Also, fast bowling apart from Jaspreet is not inspiring confidence. Agreed, Srivatsa. Do you need, uh, do you used to follow ISL JRK? I am not much of a football fan. I didn't follow that much of ISL because of several other sporting events happening. I mean, I am following badminton, I am following hockey, I am following chess, I am following cricket. I can't focus my attention on other sports also in that sense. These are the five that I do focus on. So, Ashish and Jun, I have answered that. So, don't you think uh, taking Rishabh Pant for ICT is too quick? He took Venkatesh Iyer for one over and bit blitz in Chennai game. Still looks iffy in front foot movements. I agree, Siddharth. I really do agree. Didn't expect Cummins to bowl so well. He has worked on his variations for T20 game. Agreed, sportsman. And uh, Ashish Ranjan, I've answered. Who should bat first according to you? Jurel or Hetmeyer? I would say Jurel. Much better. So, which spin duo looks strong today? Rashid Noor or Chahal Ashwin? Oh, JRK, good question. I would say Rashid Noor. Because Ashwin kind of lacks that impact in T20s. UZ Chahal is the only guy who is leading the Rajasthan Royals spin bowling effort. So, on both occasions, if you look at Rashid and Noor, are developing, are uh, giving the goods for India. So that's the situation we have. So today it's GT versus RR, it is Rashid Khan versus Noor Ahmad versus Ravi Chandra Ashwin versus UZ Chahal. Three leg spinners and one off spinner. Let's see how that match pans out. We'll be bringing you all the live updates. There's a special video we'll be doing on the player retention. There is a special video coming up on home dominance. You will not be surprised by the team that leads home dominance, but you'll be very surprised by the team that has the lowest. So thank you so much, folks, for joining us. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis. So join us for the GT versus Rajasthan Royals game. Bye-bye.